Today we're in for a treat. I have a demo of the Access Ally team features given to me by Natalie Lesseur. She's the founder of Access Ally. She's over at ambitionally.com. You can also find her at the 30-day listbuildingchallenge.com. It's actually there's no the, it's www. 30-day listbuildingchallenge.com where you can see not only her product but also a lot of her tactics. Um, now, earlier this year, Access Ally introduced a team feature. So that enables you, in addition to being able to sell a membership site to one individual, you can sell them a pack. So let's say a subscription for five um, membership seats. You sell it to them and then they can be provided with a an interface that they can use to either enroll or add students. They can remove students. So let's say they start the uh, membership off with membership number one. That person leaves the team. You can then remove it. Um, so this is a, a common feature when you're offering, let's say, a corporate account or uh, let's say you have a, a learning program that enables you to have a mom and several of her children belong. Uh, it has some really cool features because in addition to the enrollment, you can also give the, the parent or the administrator visibility into what's going on. So if someone on the team is, let's say, only two lessons into a 10 lesson course, you can give them visibility so that they can kind of move people along if they need people to get a certification, which is another feature that Access Ally provides. So uh, what follows here is uh, a demo that Natalie Lesseur herself is giving to me. I'm asking questions because there's certain things I wanted to find out. And uh, I hope you can enjoy this and, and learn something from, from the demo. We're going to get Natalie to give us a tour of the My Team feature in Access Ally. Yes. So thank you so much for having me. Um, so the cool thing with the team feature is that you can sell packages of your course, essentially. So you could say, okay, I want to sell five licenses at a time or 10 or however many you want to do. And what I'm showing you here is if I'm uh, somebody who purchased this package and I'm the sort of administrator of the group, I can come in here and add new members to the group and then they will be able to log in uh, themselves and access the course content. But then also as the administrator over here, I can do a bunch of cool stuff. Okay, so, 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 so just so I can get oriented here. Yes. So go to the go to the top. So I'm logged in now. I'm the team administrator, right? Yep. And so I use this first name, last name, and email to register the guy down the hall that's on my team. Exactly. Yep. And then okay. they'll get a welcome email with their own login details to log in and access the course content. Okay. And then existing child accounts, this is what's going on with them, right? Exactly. So this whole section is customizable. So you can have as much data as you want in here. So you could show their progress. You can show, you know, the modules that they're going through. You can show their quiz results. Um, but this is flexible. So it doesn't have to look like this. It can be blank if you want it to be blank. But if you want to give them visibility into what's happening with their team as they're going through content, this is where you would do that. Okay. So th this is like so this program that they're in has a course that's got these four mo three modules and a quiz page, right? Exactly. Yep. And so what I can read from this is Mr. Happy Trail here has finished module two, but that's all he's done. Yep, exactly. And then he took the quiz, but he got a 67. So it didn't, for example, he didn't pass in this case. Gotcha. Very good. Yeah. Um, and then also down here, you see, we've got a couple of more buttons and these are again, customizable buttons. So you could remove members. Let's say if somebody leaves the team, you could change, swap them out for someone else. Um, and then we put these together so they can resend the welcome email. Let's say if they've never logged in or you don't see any progress. Um, and then you could do anything like rewarding them with points or whatever. Maybe if you have a second course you wanted to assign to them, you could assign them that next course. So the bonus points is similar to some of those other programs you have where points open things up or allow you to have access to different content? Exactly. Yeah. Um, and let me show you the back end so you understand too um, how this is set up. So um, this is the back end in Access Ally. So I have this as a license of five, um, five child accounts per account. Um, but you can also obviously change this to be 10 or whatever you want that to be. Okay. So, so what is it that, um, so I'm a parent and I guess you have this tag, and does that tag map into an Infusionsoft tag? Is that the intent? 
Exactly. So these are, this is the Infusionsoft tag for the parent, just so you know who's the parent and you can kind of email them differently or treat them differently. Um, and then in here, this is a custom field. So this is how we're storing a lot of this information inside of Infusionsoft. Okay. So, so I have, so, and I'm only thinking most, most of the systems that I've built like this only have one membership that's, you know, in one of these, um, you know, team setups, but right. you could set up multiples of these based on the tags, right? Yep, exactly. So here's the welcome tag. So in our case, we have this course called, you know, reading like a pro. So this would trigger the welcome sequence or the access and all the other related things for that particular course, but you could have several courses as well. So, you know, let's say I want to also give them a pottery course or whatever other courses you have. Um, and the same goes for revoking. So if you want to refund or if somebody leaves the group, you can basically remove them here um, by having that revoke tag applied. Nice, nice. Okay, so this is how the administrator controls what happens when the parent takes different actions. Exactly. Um, and then here under advanced, you can change some of the messaging. So when they add new members, what that's going to say. Uh, if they run out of accounts, you can also have them, um, you know, purchase additional accounts. So you could do that here too. So saying like, hey, you've reached your limit. There's only, you know, there's no more accounts left. Click here to purchase more. Um, and the same goes for a lot of these other little uh, so the, details. So these are messages that come right out of Access Ally, right? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So that's going to show up here. So when I when I hit zero here to no more licenses, we can basically display um, a little message to go and purchase more. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then this is the display. So right now it's developer only, but this is where we set up this whole section. So this is using some of the Access Ally Pro functionality to show uh, progress. And that's set up okay, right so here. So are you using the short codes in here? Exactly. Yep. Yes, yeah, so you can see the progress ally short code right here. That is very cool. Yeah. Uh, and then here, these are the custom operations. So those were those buttons down at the bottom. So to resend the welcome email. And this, again, is just done using a tag. So um, this would obviously, Infusionsoft would send any emails or anything else triggered inside of that campaign. Now, now, let me ask you, is Infusionsoft required to work with us? Yes. Um, so, I mean, it works with any of the CRMs that we integrate with, but you definitely need one of those CRMs. Okay, because I know you have a standalone version, but this won't work with that. So, Access Ally must be integrated with one of the five CRMs that we integrate with. There is no standalone. It has to be, you know, ConvertKit, Drip, um, Entreport, Infusionsoft, or ActiveCampaign. Okay, okay. We'll talk about that in another conversation. <laughs> cool. I have then. Okay. Yeah. So how are you seeing, so, so if I come up and I sell someone um, a team membership, and let's say I, I say that that gives them five licenses, is that then, so, so now they have this, uh, that many to manage by, is it, I'm adding them another tag and that's what gets them an additional five or 10 or however many I want to allocate to it? Yep, exactly. So if you wanted to, so this is where all the webhook stuff comes in. So if you wanted to give them an additional five because they're purchasing more, this is where you change the number of uh, licenses that they have. So you would change this, you know, um, this size limit here. Okay, so th this was pre-filled for me, right? Yes, exactly. Very nice. You know, by the way, just, just the user interface is very pleasant. I mean, most of your marketing is very pleasant. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. huh. So how, how are you seeing people use this? Yes. Um, so we've definitely seen a lot of people use it for uh, families or kind of young children. So if they have, let's say, um, a group of people on a sports team who are going through a course together, or even maybe a family with three kids going through a course or multiple courses in a membership site, then they can kind of keep track, like the actual parent can keep track of the children um, as they go through the course. We've also seen people using this to license their courses to other businesses or corporations. So if they have something like a sales training um, they can make, train a whole team inside of a different company very nice you know we I'm working with with a client right now and we're doing something similar like this and of all things he he basically coaches church groups and pastors on how to incorporate more prayer into their ministries oh that's awesome and so you know it'll be the pastor and like a team of three or four people that are working together or it could be a youth group minister um, and, um, 
so th they have setups like this so that you can have, you know, an individual, but it could be five or 10, you know, depending on how big their group is. And, you know, you, you've got that upsell idea. Once they're in there, you can grow it based on their needs. Mm -hmm, exactly. I love that. Well, that's nice. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, um, hey, thank you so much for this overview. This is very cool. I didn't anticipate this being so complete. So uh, thank you for the review. Of course. Yeah. And obviously, if anyone has any questions, you can always just email us or uh, get in touch with us on our Facebook group, too. <laughs> uh, very good. Okay. Um, thank you. Thanks.